So that is A, egg region. The next question. The part of the brain that controls body posture in mammals is A, thalamus, B, cerebellum, C, spinal cord, D, cerebrum. Thalamus relays sensory and motor impulses to and from the cerebrum. It relays sensory and motor impulses to and from the cerebrum. Then the cerebellum is the one that coordinates action of muscles, e.g. walking, talking, sitting, standing. That's what cerebellum does. It's the one that coordinates all those activities. Then spinal cord. Spinal cord is a link between the brain and nerves from all over the body. So it connects the brain to other nerves of the body. Then the cerebrum is the one that controls body voluntary actions. Cerebrum controls body voluntary actions like I'm talking, I want to sleep, I want to do things. So every voluntary action is controlled by cerebrum. Now, the question is the part of the brain that controls body posture in animals and that gives us B, cerebellum. Because it's the one that controls the actions of the muscle. Walking, talking, sitting, bending. So cerebellum controls that. That is option B. The next question. Short sightedness can be corrected by lenses which are A convex, B biconvex, C plano convex, D concave. You know, the question is so easy to solve or eliminate in that every other one is convex except one that is concave. And for short sightedness, it's a concave lens that will correct short sightedness. While for long sightedness, it's a convex lens that will correct that. So our answer is D. Concave lens will correct short sightedness. The next question. The inner ear contains two main organs, namely the A, hair drum and the crustacean tube, B, cochlear and um, semicircular canals, C, oval window and ossicles, D, pinna and cochlear. Hair drum and crustacean tube are in the Then cochlear and semicircular canals, they are located in the inner hair. The oval window is located in the inner hair, but the ossicle is located in the middle hair, the bones. Then, option D, pinna is the outer hair that you can see. This one is the pinna, so that is the outer hair. And cochlea is inner hair, so that option D is ruled out because the question says the inner hair contains, so this one is not part of the pinna. Is not part of the inner air. So option D is off. Then option C, over window and ossicle. Over window inner, ossicle middle. So that one also is gone. Then cochlea and semicircular canals. They are in the inner hair. So that's our answer. Cochlea, that's the snail like structure in the hair that is responsible for balance. With semicircular canal, so those ones are in the inner ear, while ear drum and ostation tube are in the middle. So our answer is B, cochlea and semicircular canal. Next question is diagrammatic, showing the diagram of a man and identifying the or highlighting the various areas where we have endocrine glands. It is labeled option one to four. Hormones secreted at the edge at the neck, that's the second one, at the pancreas, then at the gonads. So the first one is pituitary, the second one is thyroid, the third one is pancreatic, the fourth one is the gonads. Now, the question, the gland usually found in the position labeled one is the, and I said the one located in the position labeled one is the head. So, option A, adrena, B, thyroid, C, pancreatic, D, pituitary. Pituitary gland is found in the head, and that is the part of the belt one. So our answer is D. Adrenal gland is found around where we have three. Thyroid gland is where there is two. Pancreatic is also found around where we, there is three. Then D. Pituitary is found in the head where we have one. The next question: The hormones secreted are four. 
serve to A. Facilitate the development of facial AS. B. Raise the level of calcium in the blood. C. Lower blood glucose level. D. Make the body react to emergencies. The hormone that can be resp responsible for the development of facial hair that will be in men and it will be secreted at the, at the gonads, that is the testosterone, be responsible for the deepening of the voice, the coming out of hair from the hands and from the face, and developing, making the male body ready, that is getting to puberty, that's what that part does. Then, raise the level of calcium in the blood, lower blood glucose level, that will be the, um, the pancreatic hormone that will be responsible for that. Then, we make the body react to emergencies. No. So, the part level for is either testosterone, oestrogen, or progesterone that is secreted there. But, looking at the options that we were given, you see that there is nothing relating to the female there. As in, it's not relating to the oestrogen and um, progesterone are found in the female body. Why tes the testosterone is found in the male body. And that impact level for is talking about the sexual hormone. And that is the one that is responsible to facilitate the development of facial hair. That is the only option there that talks about the body getting ready for puberty. So that gives us option A. The hormone secrets at, secreted at four, that's at the gonads, serve to facilitate the development of facial hair, option A. The next question is also diagrammatic. It's a typical neuron as nervous, under nervous system. And the question, there's a part labeled one on it. So the question is, the structure can be found in the, this structure, that is a typical nerve cell or the neuron, can be found in the A, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems, B, peripheral and central nervous system, C, peripheral nervous system only, D, central nervous system only. Nervous system is divided into peripheral and central nervous system. And I said this is a typical neuron and it is found in both peripheral and, and central nervous system, just in the um, nervous system. Sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, option A, they are part of peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system is divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. So that is off with option C. Option C and option A is the same thing if you look at it because peripheral nervous system only consists of sympathetic and parasympathetic system. So that is off. Then it's not only in central nervous system option D. So our answer is B, peripheral and central nervous system. The next question says the point that is marked one is referred to as what? Merlin sheet, B, dendrite, C, exon, D, node of brain via. Merlin sheet is a structure inside, a cup inside the exon exon. We have the cell body, that's the part that looks like the branches of a tree on top. Then from the part that is straight down, the part that is long, after that part that looks like the head, to the lower part, before the part that looks like roots, we have that is the exon. Then the part that looks like roots is the part called dendrites. So, option B is off because the dendrite is that lower part that looks like the root of a plant. So, then it's not dendrite. Then I said melin sheet is, in, is inside the exon, exon body. Then the exon body is the old part. Exon is the old part from the part that looks like the neck to the lower part where we have the, before we get to the part that we have the root, where we have those three circular or semicircular shape that is brought together. That is the azon. The three parts together, they are called azon. The upper part is called the cell body. Then the lower part is called the dendrite. I said melin sheet is inside 
part of the egg zone. So that point where it's labeled one is called the node of Ranvia option D. The next question. Nervous control differs from hormonal control in that the former A involves only chemical transmission, B is a slower process, C produces short term changes, D has no specific pathway. Nervous control differs from hormonal control in that the former, that is, in that nervous system or in that nervous control. So the first one says, involves only chemical transmission. Well, nervous control and hormonal control. Nervous control produces short-term changes, like you are trying to put your, there is somebody that's unknowingly to you. Something is working and insect is working on your body, you quickly react. So it's a short-term change. It's, it's a quick change that it brings about and it's very fast. It's not a slow process. Or somebody is pinching you from the back. Something is hooking or just making you comfortable. You quickly, quickly react. So that is nervous control. You you react to what is a change in your environment. You just discover that maybe you just met an insect or something that makes you afraid. You quickly run away. That's nervous control. So it's not only a chemical transmission. And it's not a slow process, it's not slower. Nervous control is not slower, it's a very fast process. Then it produces short term changes, it's not a permanent change. Unlike hormonal control, when something is being secreted in the body, it takes a longer time, it makes a, a long time change. So the answer to that question is C, it produces short term changes. The next question If a nursing mother is not producing enough meat,